What's up everyone? So today we're actually going to be looking over some of the reworked merchandise which Korea leaked. And just before we start, I'd like to apologize if the audio is a bit noisy. My laptop's kind of overheating right now. I just finished work and I'm still at the office when I got notified of the new merchandise. So we're going to do this video in the office since I won't get home until like 3 or 4 hours from now. So we're going to skip all of the content first and we're gonna go over the new mercenaries so there's actually no new mercenary but some of the uh, mercenaries in the past have been updated for example Naja if you guys know who Naja is this is Naja she doesn't have an illustration you can see I can't click illustration now they added an illustration for her and it kind of feels like she's whitewashed but uh, I don't mind I really like the design for some reason I really really like the face like the shape of the face it doesn't seem like this Naja but uh, I don't really mind so yeah um, let's go over the assistants one by one first of all is Ventana and let me just say yes Ventana got a helper man if you guys don't know I do have a Ventana plus 10 and I also have her costume, so I'm not sure if I can check the... I'm not sure if... Um, I have her Kendo costume. And Ventana was the poster girl for... For what do you call this? For Brandas for a while. So um, I I was assuming before, like two or three months ago, that Ventana would eventually get a helper. That's why I got her, and she did. So I'm really happy about that. So yeah, look at that. I I already bought this in the past. This is a regular costume, so it costs six hundred. So I whether or not she's good, we don't know yet. And you can see here. Estena is a wandering female attorney. I feel like law or um, vigilante or someone who breaks the law or um, I feel like it was just poorly translated because I am using Google Translate. So she's probably not an attorney. She's probably not an attorney. So yeah. Um, she's been called Ventana's elder sister. So um, that's just how people view her. Her nickname is The Sword. That's pretty nice. Ventana, didn't I tell you, sister? If you're a woman, let's do it. So she's apparently also bi. Yeah, I think she's bi. No. Nah, I'm just kidding with you guys. Um, the translation again here is very poor. So she doesn't want to do it with Ventana. Unless she does want to. You know what? I don't want to get demonetized. Um, so we're going over Valtor's helper next. So, so this is Hispa. The the by the way, the names will often change when they hit global, but you get the idea. Hispa is the granddaughter of Valtor. So Ventana is one of my most favorite units. I actually made a video before of my top ten favorite units, and I put Ventana in there because I really like the sword animation, and uh, I like her character in general. But the helper, I prefer Ventana over the helper. But for Valtor, I prefer her granddaughter over her. Okay, that I didn't mean anything by that. Uh, don't want to get demonetized again. So yeah, um, I prefer the helper over Valtor. So the design's really nice and she's really thick. I like the um, the totem thing she's holding. Um, it's like a staff of Valtor, but it's um. It's newer, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna take this off because um, it's a bit hot. I probably won't catch any viruses today unless I'm unlucky. So yeah, she has this bear cape that's stuck on her waist. She has some boots. I don't know how she got those boots, but she has pretty nice boots. Um, her design's really good. I'm hoping out of these two, that Ventana 
becomes useful because I already have her maxed. I didn't build Valtor, so um, if he's good, if he's bad, doesn't really matter to me. Okay, so Ebony gets a helper. Ebony, but she ain't black though. So if you guys don't know, where is Ebony? Ebony has the same tiles as Serendia post um, post 10. So this is Serendia's basic tile. So if she has good buffs, she can potentially replace Serendia for Novice Arena. Like we don't know what they're going to do with her. Um, maybe if they make it irremovable or the silence effect as a reflect and as an attack or an irremovable silence we really don't know what they'll, they're gonna do with her but if they do make her a Serendia replacement that will be very good it will di diversify the novice arena even more and if you guys have been playing brown dust for a while you know that the novice arena is a lot more diverse compared to the regular arena which makes it more fun now i think the regular arena will be more um there will be more unit options as time goes on as we get more plus 15s for example yuri and lydia they're not really mandatory but you can use them so there's a bit of diversity just a bit though the novice arena is where it's where it's at so i'm hoping she becomes really good for the design i really love the design of the helper she has two books and she has a lot of books and i think she's a librarian yeah he she runs her library of forbidden books so yeah so she gives ebony a, a book to make her more beautiful than anyone else if i'm understanding that correctly so yeah um, we don't know anything about the skills yet. let's go over the last one which is a three star naja so I'm actually quite surprised that Naja got a helper before Marie. Oh, uh, sorry, before Rignet, because Naja is not the main character. So yeah, that's kind of strange for me. But let's see what what happens to her. Maybe the reason why Rignet doesn't have a um, a helper is because she's really really usable right now. I think in Korea she's top three. Um, in Asia, she's probably top 10, but in Korea, she was top 3 the last time I checked for Novice Arena. So she's very usable. So maybe that's why they chose another warrior. I know that if you have a good competitor, you can go fast. I am so lucky in that sense. So she's growing fast. She's growing fast. She's drinking her milk. Okay, the last thing this isn't a new character. This is an Ahegao tail. I mean a, a maid tailor. So if you guys don't know, she's already, she's cosplaying Anastasia and she's really, really tired. Like if you were to do something to her, she probably couldn't fight back. Look how tired she is. She's probably been mopping all day. And uh, she's over a, what do you call this? A laundry machine. Because it looks similar to Anastasia's machine. So... Yeah, she's really, really tired. I wonder what will happen next. So yeah, um, I'm gonna leave the link for the Cafe Never Brown uh, Brownless Notes. So this is the um, some of the creeps from the next castle. So that's 56 to 60. If you're wondering why Korea just has 56 to 60 when we already have 55, it's because in between the patch uh, those patches they actually got the reverse underground castle i'm not sure what it's called but they got the reverse underground castle and that's a lot harder than the regular evil castle so yeah this the rest of this is just quality of life updates so i'm not going to go over that but um, essentially you have this filter and you can um, group several mercenaries at a time you can put like three stars four stars or whatever not locked something like that so yeah i think that's about it for this video i don't want to make it too long and thanks for watching guys